Okay, so let's have a look at um, the other configuration, which is a closed-ended, or sometimes called a differential manometer. And this is basically used to work out the difference of pressure in two points on a, on a pipe. So if, for example, we had a, an oil, oil pipe of some sort, and we wanted to work out the difference in pressure at two points. So down here, we've got pressure one, and up here, we've got pressure two on the, on the pipe and we're trying to figure out what the difference between those two pressures is. And what you do is you whack your manometer onto the, the two points. So you take a, a reading off here, and your manometer is just like it was before. It's just a well, it comes up to here. And in the manometer, there'll be a fluid. So we'll have, say, this much fluid. And it's obviously a difference because it's got different heights, the two arms. So there's something going on with the, the, the pressure at the two points. And let's do the uh, thing that Scott was alluding to before and have a, have a think about the heights of the, the fluid as well. So let's pretend uh, this is oil with a relative density of 0.8. And we'll, again, we'll have a um, mercury in our, manome our manometer. Mercury with a relative density of 13.6, and we'll make up some numbers. So we'll say that uh, this height here can be 10 millimeters. Uh, the height up to the head of mercury can be 50 millimeters. And then we'll have another, up to the centre of the pipeline here, can be another 70 millimetres. That's to the centre of the pipeline there. Okay, so this time we're taking into account the, the uh, heads of oil as well. Okay, and all we're doing is we're going to use exactly the same idea as before. We're going to say at the two points, there and there, the pressure has got to be equal. So whatever the total pressure at A is, has got to be equal to the total pressure at B, is the, is the guts of it. And then we just work out the pressures at those two points. So, oops, tripped over a cord. So at A, The pressure is equal to. Okay, so what's causing pressure at A? There's definitely the P1 from the pipe, so whatever actual pressure the oil has got in the pipe is going to be pushing the oil out, and also this head of pressure here. So rho GH of oil at point A. And at B, the pressure is this pressure two, so we have a pressure that's pushing with, plus the head of oil, oil above point B, plus rho GH of mercury above point B. Yep. So we've got two different pressures. One for point A, which is just the pipeline pressure plus the head of oil. And at point B, we've got the pipeline pressure plus a head of oil plus a head of mercury. We've got those, all those things going on. And we know that those two things are equal because they're on a shared well, they're at the same level on a shared well. So these two things are equal. So A pressure equals B pressure. So P1 plus rho GH of oil at point A equals P2 
plus rho GH of oil at point B plus rho GH of mercury at point B. Yeah, because those two things are the same. And what you're normally doing with these sort of questions is you're trying to find the difference between the two pressures. You're trying to find how much pressure differential there is between these two things. Okay. So you're normally trying to find something like P1 minus P2. So subtraction, subtraction, rho GH, oil B, plus rho GH, mercury B, minus rho GH, oil A. Just a bit of algebra. Lee will be happy with that. Yep. Okay, so we're just jigging things around. We don't know, we haven't got enough information to work out either P1 or P2 by themselves, but we can work out the difference between them. That's why it's called a differential manometer. It's just going to work out a pressure difference. So basically you can plug your manometer into your pipeline and find out if there's any pressure droppage, if you're losing any pressure in your pipeline. And now you just pop numbers in. So this is oil, so density for oil, 0.8, so 800, times 9.81, times the head of oil, 10 millimetres, plus mercury at point B, times 9.81, times the head of mercury, which is 50 millimetres, minus... I've got back to front, haven't I? What have I done? Spot the mistake. What have I got wrong? What's wrong with one number that's on the board so far is rubbish. Which number is it and why is it rubbish? Should be... Thank you, Sam. That's exactly right. Because that was at oil at point B. So point B, the oil at point B, that was the head at point B, was 70 millimetres. So this is the one that's 10 millimetres. Okay, and then you need to grab a calculator and thrash away and come up with an answer for all of that lot. And that'll tell you what the pressure differential between the two parts is. Can you take your sofa? Are you in game to give us an answer? If it was ducking for cover. What do you reckon? Okay. Yep. Okay. And what's the unit for that's going to be, Levi? Pascals. Yep. So we've lost about seven kilopascals of pressure between the two points. Okay. So. <coughs> differential manometer or closed end manometer. And it's exactly the same principle as before. Shared well, draw a level through it. And the smart thing to do is to draw a level wherever the lowest fluid level is within that well. So you don't have to worry about head for that. Pressure at one point, pressure at the other point. You've got to take into account external pressures and heads. And you know that those two pressures are equal. And a bit of algebra to finish it off. Okay, differential manometer. <coughs>